Hey guys, I just wanted to come on here real quick and talk about a realization that I had last night that I have had this YouTube channel 14 years now, which is just mind blowing to me. Um, I created this channel in 2010. Um, I scroll through my videos trying to find like the oldest like posted one. But, you know, it's kind of hard to do that now since the only thing I can sort by is newest or most popular. So I just kind of, like, searched up stuff. Um, the earliest video I could find that was posted was April of 2011. It was me showing my dog I had before Panda, which was my um, yellow lab, Bella. And I know I posted videos before that. Um, I had one, my, my, I know what my earliest video was, I just don't know the date I posted it, was, um, I didn't even have a phone at that point, I was using, my brother was using my mom's phone to film me, because <coughs> I didn't get a phone until I was a teen, and, um, I was like, I think 12 in that video, and it was me showing a stable I had made for my briar horses called Stony Creek Staples, and I had a bunch of, like, barns made out of cardboard, and I would sew horse blankets, and I had Barbies riding the horses. And that was my earliest um, video, was a Briar barn tour. And I made Briar videos for a while. I made some videos of me singing Disney songs. That is, um, don't look those up, please. <laughs> and Taylor Swift songs, just, just, just don't, please. Um, and... Uh, then I had the videos of Bella, and I had some, like, music videos, per se, that were just, like, different clips to songs. Now, most of those I ended up deleting off my channel because, I don't know, a couple years ago I got a strike. And, you know, these were not, like, um, royalty-free clips or songs or anything. So, I just deleted them because they were so old, and I didn't want to be getting any more strikes, so those are not on my channel. But I used to make those... <coughs> And that's basically how my channel went for the first, like, four or five years. I'm not sure if I actually posted in 2010 or if I started posting in 2011. And it wasn't, like, frequent videos. It was um, here and there sporadic. Kind of like how I am now, but even more sporadic. And I also had my Good Dog series, which I think that translated over to when I was vlogging, but we'll get to that in a minute. I had my Good Dog series <coughs> with Panda uh, it started with Bella, but then I also had Panda and Princess. And um, then I started vlogging when I started Orcambi, which was in, I believe, October of 2015. It was 2015 for sure. I believe it was October or September, one of those two months. And I started vlogging. And I started vlogging, actually, because I saw all these people making vlogs of my first two weeks on Orcambi. So that's how that whole thing started. My At the time, I was still, you know, Brooke was still alive. I was talking to her. We started vlogging together. And um, we were like, yeah, we're going to do this. It'll, it'll be fun, like, my first two weeks on Orcambi. Well, that was 2015. It's now 2024. So I don't daily vlog anymore. I think I stopped the daily vlogs. Mmm... Was it 2020? Maybe 2019? Somewhere around there, I stopped the daily vlogs. Um, I know I also took a huge break in 2018 after Brooke passed away. Um, so really, 2018 is when it kind of went not always daily vlogging. <clears throat> but I really stopped, I think, in 2020, at the end of 2019. Um, that's when it became more sporadic vlogs instead of daily vlogging. <clears throat> so for a good, like, four, three or four years, I was posting a video every single day. Um, it started with Orcambi, then it turned into just cystic fibrosis, and then it just turned into my life. Um, and then it became more sporadic vlogs, and then, you know, there was Trikafta, so I got off Orcambi. And then it just was, you know, mostly about the horses, and then college, and just, you know, moving to Florida, and all that. So, it's been crazy to me that, well, I started, I, I've always loved making videos, I've always loved editing videos, you know, it's always been something that I've enjoyed. Um, I remember saving up for my allowance. I had a, I had a phone, but you know, phone cameras back then weren't perfect. So I remember saving up for my allowance. I saved up $50 um, and I bought myself a camcorder so I could make more videos with that camera than just um, 
my phone. And this was me as like a teenager, you know, I wanted, my first thing I wanted was a little video recorder. Not great quality, but back then it was. Um, and I remember I would sit at the computer for hours on Windows Movie Maker, just editing vlogs, editing other types of videos, and I absolutely loved it. Um, and one thing that um, still touches my heart to this day is, uh, like I said, Brooke would do this kind of thing too. And after she passed away, um, I was given her camera and her computer that she used to edit, um, which is really special to me. Now, she actually never got to use the camera because it was a wish and she passed away before she could use it, which I still wish. I would I would completely give that up. <laughs> I would give up the computer. I would give up the camera. Never touch them. Never have them to have her back. Like, I wish she could have used them. Um, but her family flew down to Florida and gave it to me because they knew that we had that connection with YouTube channels. <clears throat> and, um, so yeah, that's kind of a tangent, but, um, I've always loved video making. I just, even as like preteen teenager, I've always loved it. And, uh, so it's been 14 years on YouTube, you know, the first couple, four or five years, just kind of random videos. And then vlogging since 2015 so almost 10 years of vlogging like next year will be 10 years of vlogging just alone which is insane <clears throat> and um I've had my YouTube channel for 14 years and the vlogging was like supposed to be you know two weeks of our camby and it turned into almost 10 years which is crazy and I've never become one of those like big channels you know I have around a thousand subscribers and honestly I'm okay with that like the people that comment on my videos thank you guys and I feel like I I connect with you guys more because it's just the same couple people and um it's nice uh to not I, I don't mind being one of those big not being one of those big channels you know what I, I I'll say when I first started YouTube I wanted to be like this big briar YouTuber um but I'm perfectly happy being a small channel I've been a small channel for 14 years and I'll probably forever be a small channel on this little platform, but um, I still have my place on this platform, and I'm very happy with, with what it is, and what I'm able to go back and relive so many memories, <laughs> and um, I'm able to connect with people, even on a smaller scale, so thank you. Um, every single one of my subscribers and commenters means something to me, and uh, here's to 14 years, and I don't see myself quitting anytime soon.